All right, we're here at South by Southwest 2011. We're at the Samsung Bloggers Lounge, and that means we get looking at we get to look at uh, all kinds of cool Samsung products. One of which is the Samsung Smart TV that we're looking at right here. I'm with Stuart from Samsung. Um, he's going to tell us a little bit more about uh, app integration with the TV and uh, a cool little Android app demo uh, using your phone to control the TV. Stuart, take it away. So, thank you very much, Will. Yeah. One of the things we've got here, we launched uh, about a month ago was an Android app. We actually had it on the iPhone app store there for since August last year, uh -huh. but an app that allows me to control the TV from my phone. So here's basic remote functions. Oh, you on, swipe it to get more functions. And I swipe it to get more functions, and I also have uh, along the bottom different options for navigation, keyboard, uh -huh. and connecting to the TV. The catch here is that the phone and the TV need to be on the same wireless network. All right. So if your phone is still in its 3G or 4G mode and you're trying to do this, it's not going to find the TV to connect. Uh -huh. You do need to have them both connected to the same network. But when I've got this, one of the uh, things I can do is get into Samsung Smart TV uh, oh, there's screen. There's a little dedicated internet TV button there. Dedicated oh, and, so and the home brings up this what we're calling Smart Hub. Okay. And Smart Hub has a bunch of stuff going on with it, uh, including uh, our social networking. Oh, so you're controlling that right through the uh, yeah. buttons on the, on the phone. Okay. One of the great things about controlling your television over Wi-Fi is that I don't have to point the remote at the TV. Mm. I'm, you know, I, don't, I could be sitting on it, I could have the dog in front of it. It's no IR uh -huh. to deal with. Yeah. So I bring up social TV. And now oh, I Facebook. can. I got Facebook. I've got. I could be um, Twitter. It could be Google Talk. And I am seeing what's going on within my uh, feed while I'm watching television. So now TV becomes interactive. While you're watching the game, you can be trading bribes or bribes, whatever, with your friends uh, over Facebook, over Twitter, over Google Talk. Right. Uh, all in real time. So, yeah, that's awesome, uh, but see, seeing that we're actually using a Samsung Epic 4G here, right. that's a Samsung Android phone, and we got a Samsung TV, I would imagine that these two guys can talk to each other over all So, uh, absolutely. Beyond okay. just controlling the TV, I can share content. Uh -huh. So, you take a picture, let me get, get out of that, okay, so now I'm just watching TV, and uh, I need to go home, I want to... Take a picture and throw it directly to the television. Okay. On the this, once I've got the picture. Oh, don't don't you do this to me. It's okay. Cool. So we got the picture. I can hit share. All share is Samsung's name for our DLNA service. Choose that. It's now gonna find the TV on the network. I hit it. And now, it automatically sets the image straight to the television. Oh, well, that's, a, that's, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, a great picture. Yeah, it's a great picture, great picture. <laughs> right, right, um, right. But, I, but I like how you, know, you can seamlessly uh, you just transfer content from your phone to the TV without having Exactly, and this could be music, this could be pictures, video clips, mm -hmm. whatever your Wi-Fi bandwidth will allow. Right. All right, when, whatever DLNA will allow. Great. Yeah, it looks good. So that's been a quick little look at the uh, Samsung uh, Smart TV and a uh, quick little demo on the Samsung Epic 4G for the all-shared DLNA service.